Welcome back, you pursuers of excellence. This is Ray with Always in Pursuit. Uh, last week I discussed leadership legacies and how a lot of leaders are looking at short-term goals as opposed to uh, the long-term generational leadership uh, that, that we should be striving for because we want to have a long-lasting legacy. Because, uh, you know, a, a, and I said last week, as morbid as it is, you're going to be forgotten in a generation or two. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the only thing that's going to be left of you is the legacy you left as a leader. Uh, so there are a few things that hinder us uh, from being, uh, you know, generational leaders. Okay, so the first one is we are seeking followers instead of building leaders. And I'll tell you, I am absolutely guilty of this. Uh, in the past, you know, I, I, it was, this is my short term thinking, right? I wanted my soldiers to just follow me and sometimes blindly and and that was absolutely the wrong thing and i think for leaders uh especially uh in today's in today's world uh a lot more subordinates are asking the why and so you know whenever we're uh building leaders we also want to tell them why we're doing things because whenever they know why it helps them see the long term and that's really what we want to do for uh for building our legacy as leaders uh, number two we're not allowing our subordinates to be themselves. And um, <clears throat> so for this, I mean, this is really important, right? We, we want our soldiers to express themselves or we want our subordinates to express themselves. Uh, create, we want them to be creative, right? But if as leaders, if we're stifling that creativity, um, you know, that's, that's it's not really a good thing for, uh, for what we're trying to do. So, the other thing about that is, is, is we don't know when to let go of the role and let somebody else take the lead. Um, so just because uh, you would do it a different way doesn't mean that it's always the right way, right? So what you want to do is you want to let your subordinates express themselves and express their leadership style um, with your guidance. And you can let go of some of those roles and some of those tasks and you can give them to your subordinates and let them flourish, right? And, and so whenever you do that, you're helping build that leader uh, instead of just having that follower, like I said before. Uh, and, and so whenever you have that, that, that role that's being built up as a leader or that, that soldier is being built up as a leader, um, now you're talking about generational leadership because that person will probably take those lessons um, to, to their next duty station or to you know whenever they become a supervisor and hopefully they will let their subordinates express themselves uh, in terms of in terms of their work, right? Um, so the next thing is lack of direction. If you don't have a direction, I mean, that, what are you doing, right? So you have to know which way you're going, um, which way the wind's blowing, right? You you just have to know these things, and if if you're not if you don't know what direction you're headed, you need to stop what you're doing right now as a leader and you need to figure out where you're going, what you're supporting, how you're helping your subordinates get somewhere if you don't even know where you're going, right? So you need to stop, think about that, uh, and, and then just go back, reassess, and then bring your subordinates on board and have that conversation with them. Uh, and, and it's okay to admit that you're wrong to your subordinates, right? I've done it before um, and it actually helps build those relationships. Um, and then along with the lack of direction is also assuming that those who will follow you uh, understand the big picture. And, and this goes back to uh, explaining the things, right? And so in the past, I, I spoke about assumptions in leadership. And I want to encourage you to help your subordinates, you know, just ask the question. Do you understand what the direction is? Uh, do, you, do you know what we're trying to accomplish here? Do you know why we're trying to accomplish it? Um, and, and whenever you start getting those answers, getting to those answers, and they start seeing those answers, um, they're going to be more creative about uh, executing their task, and, and they're going to help you really uh, carve the way in that path. And so <clears throat> it really takes a lot off your plate as a leader, too. Um, the next thing is selfish interest and selfish ambitions. Um, so, <laughs> woo, this one, uh, it, you know, it, it, it strikes a little close to home because I, you know, I've been that leader before um, where, you know, I, I was 
I was on the path of I, I want to get promoted and um, you know sometimes I worked too late and what that also did was it meant that my my subordinates were working late too and you know I look back at that and I kick myself um, all the time because you know that's time that that they've lost with their family and that's a direct reflection of me as a leader and, and what I did and didn't do uh, so I should have been more efficient um, but I was also pursuing my own selfish interests and uh, you know because of that <clears throat> people people ended up working later than they than they needed to uh, and so if that ever happened if you were one of my subordinates and you're watching this and this happened to you I sincerely apologize um, you know I've seen the error of my way and I'm, I'm hoping that that you guys and gals have all learned from it and that, that you're not making the same mistakes that I've made. Um, and then <clears throat> the other thing is jealousy when subordinates are successful. Uh, leaders sometimes get a little jealous and territorial for, for some reason. And <clears throat> this isn't something that we want to do, right? If, if we're going to encourage our subordinates to be successful, we don't want to be jealous of their success. Okay, this is this will stifle uh, creativity. This will stifle, you know, it, any kind of progression that they're trying to make in their careers. Um, so, so just be glad, you know, rejoice with them whenever they succeed. Give them the credit and, uh, you know, watch them grow and blossom. And, you know, at the end of the day, whatever they succeed, that's your success too as a leader. So, um, you know, let them succeed and don't be jealous for that success. Uh, so that's all I have. Uh, for this week, uh, next week we're going to talk about we're going to finish up our series on on uh, leadership legacy, and we're going to talk about things that you can do um, that are going to help you get to where you want to be as a as a leader, and <clears throat> things that are going to help you you know have that lasting impact on people. So until then, always remain in pursuit of your goals, and we'll see you next week.